to deliver pizza. How about you deliver this one to the table while I pay? Pizza is the best. And I love the chewy bit on the outside. Uh, trike, that's the box. Mmm, tasty. Oh, too bad there isn't any peanut butter and banana on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, what oh, that sounds yeah. delicious. Mom, this pizza's great. But next time, can we get one with peanut butter and banana for my dinos? <laughs> they don't make that kind, Harry. Why not? You can have peanut butter and banana on bread, and on crackers, and on toast. Well, I guess no one ever thought of putting it on a pizza. If I could have anything on a pizza, I'd have meatballs and grape jelly. And hot dogs. Don't forget hot dogs. Oh, too bad there aren't any pizza parlors that make hairy pizzas. I know a place where there's got to be one. With every topping known to kid or dino? It must be in Dino World. What are we waiting oh, for? Oh, oh yeah, count me Let's in. Go. Smoke appears to be coming out of Moo Mountain. Oh, it's a volcano. That's not smoke. That's pizza cooking. Look, a real pizza kitchen. With every topping you can think of. Mmm, sausages. Oh, there's even a hat for the chef. Let's make hairy pizza. This dough sure is super sticky. It's stickier than a stick insect in a stack of sticks. Hmm. Now, leave the dough to rise for one hour. Do I smell pizza? Oh, we're not making any old pizzas. We're making hairy pizzas. <laughs> they're pizzas that you can have anything on that you like. But they're not ready yet. We're letting the dough rise. You sure are. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> it's heading this way. Awesome. Right that way. I'm sorry, Nancy. I guess we won't be making hairy pizzas today. We just don't know how. Ooh, 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 let me! Can you make pizzas? Sure I can. I've watched Nana do it lots of times. Sometimes she even lets me make them myself. Nice tail work. Trike speaking, how can I help you? Harry's Trike Parlor, pizza speaking, how can I help you? The princess wants us to deliver. Uh-huh. Wow! Scorch the dragon. Yes, what? 
Hold on, Clem, my froggy friend. Uh, I got people waiting. Okay, I got one small pizza with pink icing and cherries. One large pizza with swamp mud and extra flies. Make that with chocolate sprinkles. I need one super hot pizza chili feast with extra five alarm chilies. And pond weed. And make that extra slime. With extra hot chilies. And no bees. Oh, a little help here. while they're still hot. Let's see how fast this Dino Pizza Mobile can go. A pizza fit for a princess. We are delighted. Your pizza? Whoa! I like mine well done. <laughs> To see us, hmm? I think we all did a great job, don't you, Harry? I asked for flies, and I got chocolate sprinkles. We decreed that our pizza should have pink icing, and we got hot chilies. I got swamp sauce, and it's put my fire out. So I got a little muddled with the orders. You were all talking at once. Flies, cherries, chilies. It's not easy. Trike's right. It's not easy, and we're really sorry you got the wrong toppings on your pizzas. We made a mistake. <laughs> like the time you came to borrow our royal nail scissors and set fire to our castle. Or the time you brought your whole tap dancing class to Echo Canyon. <laughs> well, don't forget the time you tried to make your fishing hole bigger and flooded my whole lair. <laughs> you were boiling mad. <laughs> it sure was a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but we all love surprises. That's great. Wait till you see what Nancy and I have got for you. Harry Super Surprise Party Pizza! You can add anything you want. That way, everyone's happy. Yay! Oh, that's a good idea. Is that a picture of the kind of pizza you want next time? With extra chilies and pink icing, but no swamp weed. Not even Clem likes that. Well, he's right. Swamp weed makes the crust way too soggy. Oh, I'd better answer that. Let me. I got it. No! no. no. Harry's Parlor Pizza, Trike helping. <laughs> wait, wait, I'll get it. The Trike's Harry Pizza. <laughs> Harry's Trike Parlor. I love strawberries. Me too! Strawberries are delicious! They're delectable. <laughs> 
Yeah, and they taste good, too. Can we eat some, Mom? Well, they're not quite ready yet, Harry. They need to ripen a little first. Will they be ready soon? Maybe in a week or so. A week? I can't wait a week. A week without strawberries? A whole week? How long is a week? But, Mom, if we wait, someone might come and eat them before us. <laughs> Who would do a thing like that, I wonder? I don't know. I know. The Great Strawberry Nibbler will eat them all. The Great Strawberry Nibbler? Yeah. He lives in a flower pot, and while everyone's asleep, he comes out and gobbles up all the strawberries. Tell you what, Harry. I'll check under every flower pot just to be sure, okay? You won't see the Nibbler because it's magic. I wish we could have some strawberries right now. Just one or two. One or two hundred? We love strawberries. There is a place, of course, where strawberries are ready to eat all the time. You mean a place where you can find the biggest, juiciest dino strawberries? Of course, Dino World. What are we waiting for? Are you ready, Harry? Ready. One, One two, two, three, jump, Harry! the strawberry field. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Will you just take a look at those? Wow, all these strawberries just for us. The finest strawberries in Dino World, I might add. I say we start at this end and eat our way to that end. Or we could start at that end and eat our way to this end. Well, there's nothing to stop us now. <laughs> it's the great strawberry nibbler. Hey, you, leave our strawberries alone. than a sea lion on a slide. By my calculations, every time we reach for a strawberry, the strawberry nibbler beats us to it. It's like he's playing a game with us. And I know how to stop him. No, why me? Why me? Well, you make a great strawberry, really. Good enough to eat. You're going to eat me? No, Trike. We want you to lead the strawberry nibbler away from our patch. Then he'll eat me. He won't be able to catch you. All you have to do is run as fast as you can, as far as you can. It's him. It's the nibbler. Get ready to run, Trike. Precisely. Pepper Pepper Rock! Not this way! Try oh, no, 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 no. No. What happened to him? He stopped quicker than a quail in a quagmire. I hope he's okay. <laughs> If he's playing a game, I think he's winning. Anyone see him? I'm the best tracker in Dino World, but uh, he's got me beat. He's a real smart nibbler, that's for sure. Hey, everyone, you gotta see this. Oh, no! He's eaten all but one. 
This is an emergency. Sound the alarm! Call the fire department! Call the strawberry police! Well, he's not getting this one. He'll have to get past us first. Anyone see anything? Oh, yeah, yeah! What? I can see you. Oh, no, no. Anyone see the nibbler? Nope. It's as quiet as a hamster in a hamper. Oh, hey! Oh, oh, oh! You know, I don't think there's anything we can do to stop him. We'll see. Sid, do you have your big book of everything there is to know in the whole wide world? I always keep it handy, just in case. What's it say about strawberry nibblers? Let me see. Giggling gnomes. Tickling trolls, batty bats, um, ah, here we are. Strawberry nibblers. Lives in a flower pot, has big teeth, and eats strawberries. We knew that already. Let him finish. How do we stop him from eating our strawberry? You can only do that with magic. We don't know any magic. It looks pretty easy to me. It says that you put honey on his tail, then say nibble, nubble, nubble three times, hopping on one foot with your thumb in your ear, and he'll disappear in a puff of smoke. Well, that sounds simple enough. But he never stays in one place long enough for us to catch him. Then we need to find a way to get him to stick around. That's it. Stick around. Okay, listen up. This is what we're going to do. What's in that pot, Harry? Glue. This should make the nibbler stick around. All we have to do is wait until he tries to take the strawberry. Okay, Mr. Strawberry Nibbler, we give up. This last big, juicy berry, it's all yours. I guess so. We can eat all sorts of stuff, like raspberries. And apples. And melons. And kiwi fruit. And socks. I like socks. But the strawberry nibbler only eats strawberries. He can't help but eat them. Harry's got a point. We were acting a little hasty. Sid, what does your book say about bringing him back? Well, all right, let me see now. To get your nibbler back... Um, ah, yes. Well... You simply stand and hop on the other foot. Quick, everyone, follow me. We're really sorry. We know you love strawberries as much as we do. So, we would like to share the last one with you. Mom's home. One, two, three. three. Jump! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I bought you at the store. Strawberries. I figured you couldn't wait for the others to grow. Great! You'd better eat them quickly or the great strawberry nibbler will eat them first. No, that's okay. He's our friend now. Oh, 
I see a seashell. It's the best shell ever! And it's going to go right here on top of my sand castle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's... yeah. 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 What's wrong with you guys today? Well, it's this new bucket, Harry. Uh... Oh, it was really kind of Nana to get it for you. But we don't like it. We prefer our regular bucket. It's not replacing the old one. I'm just using it to make sand pies. So that we don't get scratchy sand in our usual bucket? Exactly. Oh, good oh, boy. Oh, yes. 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 Hey, where did my shell go? Nana, did you take my new shell? No, Harry. I found the best shell ever and now it's gone. Harry, I can see it. Where? By my calculations, it's heading for the tide pool. I never saw a moving shell before. Maybe a little hermit crab lives inside it. They make their homes in any shell they can find. Calling all dinos! Calling all dinos! Follow that shell! Nana's right! It's a little crab living inside. All those creatures in the tide pool. Look, I think I see a seahorse. Oh, and tiny fishes. Oh, Harry, I see a shell there. Wow. wow! It's a whole new world down there, Harry. I wish I could jump right in and swim with those fish. <laughs> it would be lovely, but you're a little large for that tide pool. I recollect a place where there's a very similar tide pool. You mean in Dino World? What are we waiting for? One, two, two three! Staggy, we've got a dino submarine. Yeah! They look like horses. <laughs> sea horses, to be precise. Hey, a spaghetti tree. I guess it's a sea anemone. Anemone, now whatever. Look over here! Watch out, Harry! It's a jellyfish! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Can we do it again? We have a seaweed situation here. You mean we're stuck? Not so fast. <laughs> we have diving suits. These are the latest high-tech, lightweight, super dino swimsuits. Great. Uh, uh, no. A little help here, please? Trike, you've got your feet in the armholes. Well, at least I didn't get my horns in the tail hole this time. No, you did that too. Everyone ready? Let's go! Whee! <laughs> this anemone sure is tickly. Hey, look what I found. There's somebody inside. It must be a crab. Hey, wait! 
Not fast enough, Harry. I've got an idea. <laughs> Can you guys help us? Neat idea, Harry. Woo! <laughs> this is more fun than a fox trot on a futon. You sure we're going the right way? <gasps> about, aren't you? Why were you running away? I'm not running away from you. I'm running away from my shell. But you're inside it. Yes, but if I run fast enough, I might just get away from it. Why would you want to do that? Because I'm stuck inside it. Hermit crabs grow out of their shells, and I should have moved into a new one before I got so big. I'm glad I don't wear a shell. Could you possibly help me out? Of course we can. Ah! <laughs> Ow, stop! You really are stuck. By my calculations, this seaweed rope should do the trick. Smart thinking, Sid. Hold this and we'll pull. Well, it might work. One, two, three. Oh! Wow, he's as stuck as a stickleback in a stocking. Oh dear, I'll be stuck in this shell forever. Wait, I have an idea. There's one thing we haven't tried. Gone away and left me. I should have known. Still stuck in my shell. Boom! Whoa! I'm free! I'm free! What's wrong? Oh, I don't want you to see me with no shell on. Okay, we'll find you another one. Uh, next size up, please. We didn't know what you like, so we brought a selection. Too small, I'm afraid. Too many bits on it. Not quite my color. A little old-fashioned. It's just... not me. If you don't like any of these, what sort of shell would you like? Something new and different. A bright, colorful shell with plenty of room. No, that's a tough one. Leave it to me. Hey, uh, where's Harry gone? What do you think of this? Ah, perfect! But Harry, isn't that your new bucket? Yes, and it makes a really good new home for the crab. It feels great! Now that you don't need your old shell, may I use it for my sandcastle? Be my guest, Harry. Thanks for everything. Let me know next time you need a bigger shell, and we'll come back. I will. Ready, dinos? Ready! One, two, three, jump! <laughs> Are you sure there's no crab in it this time? Uh-huh. He moved out. And I want you to put it on my castle. Thank you, Harry. I'd be honored. There. What happened to your new bucket? It's the hermit crab's new home. But he'll grow out of it soon and I can get it back then. You mean the hermit crab's living in a bucket? Just like my dinos. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that animenemenemy really tickles. Silly pencil.
This pencil won't draw a straight line. Your line is going to the right. Maybe lean a little to the left. Not you, Steggy. Maybe we should stop for frozen yogurt. How is that going to help? Because frozen yogurt is the best. Hey, maybe if we all tried to hold the pencil straight. Silly pencil. What are you drawing, Harry? I'm trying to draw a castle. Except this silly pencil won't draw a straight line. Look. Castles don't have to have straight lines. They do. Otherwise, how would they even stand up? Never mind. Of course, I haven't thought of that. Good point. Well, I'm sure that whatever you draw will be wonderful. There must be somewhere we can draw straight lines. I bet we could if we took the pencil to Dino World. Let's oh, go! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ready, Harry? Ready. One, One two, two, three. three. What is that thing? That, my friend, is a big blank space. Wonderful! What's it for? Drawing! It's the perfect place to draw our castle. That's what I thought. So, who has the pencil? Nobody brought the pencil? Maybe we don't need our pencil from home. Of course we need the pencil. I really don't think we do, Harry. How else are we going to draw straight lines? Uh, hey, they're already drawn for us. A pile of straight lines? Already drawn? Perfect. Now we can build our castle. Let's build a big one. With a gate. And a drawbridge. And Scrumptious frozen yogurt. Try. <laughs> what I say. One gigantic castle coming right up. Let's go. This is the best castle ever. A little lacking in frozen yogurt. Let's look inside. <laughs> this is weird. Look, the door on the ceiling. And upside down stairs? Something strange is going on around here. I think this means we're not alone. Not alone? Oh, no. Maybe we can draw ourselves invisible. Wait, I hear something. Did you guys see that? What? I can't hear you. My ears are all itchy. Anybody have a carrot? Patsy, your ears are... <gasps> oh, my! What? Cat whiskers! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Harry? <laughs> Steggy, your hat looks good enough to eat. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> your feet are huge, Terrence. <laughs> and you're covered in stripes. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least there's nothing funny about me. Turn around. <gasps> oh, rats. Who's drawing on all of us? And can he draw frozen yogurt? What? I'm really, really hungry. Follow that pencil!
vacuum eraser. A vacuum and eraser all rolled into one. Did you draw that? You bet. I'll draw anything you want. Ask for frozen yogurt. You know what I've always wanted? A rocket pack. Done! Ta-da! Lift off! Whoa! Right up! What about you, Trike? Could you please draw me some frozen yogurt? Hey, Tari, can I borrow your trampoline? Best frozen yogurt ever. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, help! Try He floated away. Yeah, just disappeared. How are we going to find him now? If only we had something like a telescope. I know. Silly can draw us a telescope. Actually, I can't. Why not? There's no clean space to draw on. Well, then, we're gonna have to clean. You want us to clean all this up? But it'll take forever. Not if we use that. Oh, oh, oh it red? Red? Oh, oh. fabulous. Space to draw. Please hurry, silly. We really need to find Trike. Stand back. Do you see anything, Harry? Not yet. Could you hurry up? You're a little heavy. I can fix that. Wow. Thanks, silly. I think I see something. Trike's frozen yogurt cloud is floating away. He can't get back. Uh-oh. What's happening? It's melting. <laughs> what are we going to do? Let's go. We're right on course, sir. Excellent. Do we have a visual? Roger that, Commander Harry. Target is in sight. Ladder at the ready. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. And go, Patsy. Trike, grab the ladder. I repeat, grab the ladder. You did it. Way to go, Trike. No, I can't hold on. I'm all slippery with frozen yogurt. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Trike? <sighs> yeah, but I sure don't feel like having frozen yogurt anymore. Harry! <laughs> 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 Let's go! See ya, silly! Bye bye! How's your castle coming, Harry? Well, my goodness! <gasps> this castle has slides coming out of the windows and a helicopter on the roof? and frozen yogurt cloud. Harry, this is the most fantastic picture you've ever drawn. I'll draw something in it for you, Nana. What do you want? For me? Hmm. Well, how about a giant talking pickle? Um, sure, Nana. Did she say a giant talking pickle? Uh huh. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I heard. heard. Yeah, giant yeah, pickle. Sounded like it. A giant talking pickle. Now that is really silly. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Mom, what's the quest? Why do you ask? Sam's reading a book for school. It's about the quest for the Golden Fleece. Well, it's when a hero goes on a big search for something precious. Oh, like the quest I'm going on. You're going on a quest? What for? A cake for a certain somebody's birthday. Sorry, Mom. Can't talk about quests now. I gotta look for your gift. Uh, I mean somebody's gift. <laughs> uh, oh, of course, Harry. This is Jason. He's going on a quest in his ship. Think Mom will like my painting? I'm making it for her birthday. Hey, no, 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 Hey, it's great, Harry, but didn't you give Mom a painting last week? You're right. That means I gotta give her something different this time. Then that means we have to go on a quest, just like Jason. Yeah! And we know what that means. Bucket time! Ready, Harry? Ready! One, two, three, jump! with our quest. Ooh, did someone say quest? Can I come? Who said that? Up here, on the bow. I could have sworn the ship was talking to us. She was, Tori. Hi, I'm Harry. These are my friends, Tori, Patsy, Sid, Steggy, Trike, and Terrence. Pleased to meet you. I'm Medea. You know, I have a chest full of quests around here somewhere. Let's see. Mm, no, that's not it. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Look out! Ah! Go on, pick out the best quest from the chest. The quest of yesterday's tomorrow. Hey, that sounds like it'd be a tough gift to wrap. The quest for the missing mist of the mist? I think they found her. Ooh, the quest for the stinkiest socks in the universe. Ew. Ew. The quest for the most amazing necklace ever. Sounds like a great gift to me. Terrific! Then come aboard! Step one. Cross Rock Lake. Okay, let's go. One problem, Harry. No wind. Anyone know how to row? Oh, oh yeah, there's a lot of Hey, hey, what's that? Hey, what's that? Hey, what's that? Bumping me there. Row! And row! And row! And row! And row! I like that beat! Oh, yeah. If we weren't rowing, we could dance. I like dancing. Ah, a bee! Get away from me! Whoa, you can dance to this? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. At least we got here in a hurry. <laughs> well, next time a bee bothers you, don't swat it near a drum. I promise. Okay, where to next? Sail the seas to meet a cat who says please. The river splits into two. Be nice and you'll know what to do. Anyone see any cats around? Meow. <gasps> We're on a quest for the most amazing necklace ever. Could you tell us which river to take? Please! Actually, I think the cat is supposed to say that. One should always say please. Oh, a thank you never hurts either. No, oh, stand back. I know how to handle this. Pretty please, with sugar on top. Try cats don't like sugar. They like milk and sardines and uh, stuff like that. Oh, right. A uh, pretty please with milk and sardines and stuff like that on top? Excuse me, 
Is there something you want? I lost one of my dancing boots. Can you find it, please? Oh, I see it. There it is. What do we do now? She said it was a dancing boot. Medea, could you? Let's see if we can get that dancing boot dancing. the most amazing necklace you're after? Take the river on the left. All right, the next step says your quest is almost done. Now look for all the fun. That's a tough one. What does fun look like? Clowns are fun. <laughs> they sure are. Hey, what about over there? Looks like fun. <laughs> Who do you think is in there? That voice sounds familiar. I think I know who that is. Harry Hilarious. Soggy? Mm -hmm. Harry, my bestest, bestest friend. What are you doing here? I got a job guarding some necklace. That must be the necklace we're looking for. It's our quest. I have instructions if someone comes for it. What's that? Tickle them! <laughs> <laughs> Soggy, cut it out, please. Soggy! Please put the Harry down. And notice he said please. Sorry, can't. Oh, oh. it's my job. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? It says to get less, you need more. More what? Tickling? When Sam tickles me, there's only one way to stop her. Tickle her back. So that means... Tickle, tickle the back! back! <laughs> no, no! Okay, I do! Thanks, Soggy. We should finish our quest. Really? Can I come? Well, we're just going back home for Mom's birthday. Oh. Okay. Hey, Harry. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna turn it soon. Great idea, Tori. Hey, Soggy. I've got someone I want you to meet. You want to go on a quest with me? Yes, please. Great. Come on up and pick a quest from the chest. Bye, Medea. Bye, Soggy. Thanks for helping us with our quest. Goodbye! Bye! Yay! 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 Mom! <laughs> wow, look at all these gifts. Now, which one should I open first? Mine! Mine! Open mine first! From the quest for the most amazing necklace ever. Oh, thanks, Harry. It sure looks amazing. Oh, a quest. Oh, that sounds exciting. I want to go on another quest, but I don't know what it would be. You know, this sort of looks like a key. It does. What do you think it opens? Oh, I don't know. But it sounds to me like another quest. Yay! 